In this video, we're going to take a look at the new updated Fujifilm X webcam version 2. So Fujifilm just updated their webcam software and now let's check out its new features. One of the major changes is we can now update the settings through its new control window. So let's load the camera now. Let's see, the new X webcam. Right, right now I'm using my X-T3 with a 16 to 80 mm f4 lens it's at 35 mm i've set everything to auto but you can also set it to manual so this is the new settings window right here uh you can change the autofocus but i don't think it's gonna matter now because we have um face detect on so it's just gonna detect the face and whenever you put anything in front it's just gonna Focus that. Dark. Turn AE on. Mm -hmm. Turn AE lock back. And turn the exposure uh, light back on again. Way too bright. We we'll try to do exposure compensation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's AE lock on. So. Okay, basic. And we have digital zoom. Let's see, 0.5. Well, it's useful if you wanna like focus new object. There you go. Times six. Mm, super zoom. Nice. Let's put it back to one. And we can also change the film simulations. I think the settings are saved. So whatever you set the last time you used it, I think it's going to load up again on the next time you plug in your camera. We also now have the ability to change the white balance. And you now if you choose the color tent, you can set which color temp is needed and a setting to launch the app but when the camera is connected i'll just keep that on again it's still compatible with the top tier fujifilm cameras um all three gfx9 xt2 xt3 and xt4 x pro 2 and x pro 3 and the xh1 I can't imagine anyone using the GFX line as webcam. I got it running on Zoom and Google Meets. I already tried it on a live Google Meet meeting and I was changing settings on the fly and you know it was working flawlessly. But I couldn't get it running on Skype and OBS. I read their guide and it said it's already compatible with the Mac version of OBS, but I couldn't get it running yet. I'll have to try again. I'm still wondering why they didn't make it available for the X-T20 and X-T30 or even the X-T100. But I'm thinking it's because the X-T200 and X-A7 have native webcam capabilities. But knowing Fuji, maybe they might add compatibility for XT30 and XT20 on version 3. You know, Fuji Love. Installation is pretty straightforward. Just download and run the installer. Restart your Mac or PC once the installation is done. On the camera end, you just need to set the mode dial to S or stills mode. Make sure that your USB connection is set to Tethered Shooting Auto, turn on the pre-AF setting, turn on face and eye detection, set focus to single shot, connect the USB to the computer, select Fujifilm X Webcam 2 from your application's audio and video settings. So if you have a Fujifilm compatible camera, give it a try and get that Fuji look in your online meetings. Well. Till next time, what else?